Was that great or what? <laughs> Scott, thank you. You know, it's really exciting to see the Radeon 6000 mobile GPUs and our new FSR technology in action. And Frank, thanks for showing us the power of bringing all of AMD's technologies together with Zen 3, RDNA 2, and AMD software to really create the best gaming experiences. Now, you guys know at AMD, we're always thinking about what's next. Let's close by looking at some of our advanced technologies. Advanced technology is a key foundation of our product leadership. And that means putting the best process technology together with the best packaging technology. Now, we were early adopters of industry-leading 7 nanometer manufacturing technology from TSMC. And by now, we've delivered more than 30 products in 7 nanometer across all of our markets. And our roadmap to 5 nanometer technology is right on track, including our first Zen 4 products that will be available next year. We were also the leaders in advanced packaging technology. Our investments in innovation and packaging have been a multi-year, multi-technology journey. In 2015, AMD introduced high bandwidth memory, or HBM, and silicon interposer technology to the GPU market, which led the industry for memory bandwidth in a small form factor. We then set a new performance trajectory for compute in the data center and PC markets in 2017 when we introduced high volume multi-chip module packaging. And in 2019, we introduced chiplets using different process nodes for the CPU cores and the IO in the same package, which enabled significantly higher performance and capabilities. Now today, I'd like to show you the next big step forward. We've worked closely over the last few years with TSMC on their 3D fabric technology to combine chiplet packaging with die stacking to create a 3D chiplet architecture for future high performance computing products. Now let me show you a little bit about how our 3D chip stacking technology works. The first application of this technology will be to enable a 3D vertical cache. In this prototype, we're taking our leadership Ryzen 5000 series processor and stacking a 64 megabyte 7 nanometer SRAM directly on top of each core complex, effectively tripling the amount of high speed L3 cache feeding our Zen 3 cores. The 3D cache is bonded directly to the Zen 3 CCD with through silicon vias passing signals and power between the stacked chips, supporting more than two terabytes per second of bandwidth. Through the manufacturing process, we thin the 3D cache die and add structural silicon to create a seamless surface for the combined chip. The finished 3D stacked version of the CPU actually looks exactly the same as the current Ryzen 5000 processors. So now let me show you what that looks like. So this is a prototype Ryzen 5900X processor with the 3D chiplet technology. We've actually removed the lid from this package and exposed the left CCD so you can see one of the six millimeter by six millimeter square SRAMs hybrid bonded to the CCD. In an actual device, an individual SRAM is bonded to each CCD, so you get 96 megabytes of cache per CCD, or 192 megabytes total for a 12 or 16 core Ryzen processor in a single package. So now let me give you a little bit more detail about the technology itself. We're using a hybrid bond approach with through silicon vias that provides over 200 times the interconnect density of 2D chiplets and more than 15 times the density compared to other 3D stacking solutions. This actually enables a much more efficient and denser integration of our IP. The die-to-die -die interface is using a direct copper-to-copper -copper bond with no solder bumps of any kind. This approach dramatically improves the thermals, the transistor density, and the interconnect pitch, and is only one third the energy per signal of micro bump 3D approaches. All of these things make this truly the most advanced and flexible active on active silicon stacking technology in the world. <laughs> now, let's see this in action. Larger caches are important in many workloads, but PC gaming is a workload all of us know well. Let's take a look at a demo using Gears 5. On the left side is a Ryzen 9 5900X, which is today's fastest gaming CPU. On the right side is a 3D triplet prototype based on the 5900X with the new 3D vCache technology. Both CPUs have the same core count and thread count and are fixed at four gigahertz clock speed. 
Frankly, the gaming performance of both processors is extremely good, but the 3D triplet prototype improves performance by 12% on average. This is actually just phenomenal, and the impact of 3D triplets on a real workload. In fact, when you look across many of today's games, they have intense demands for the PC memory subsystem, and they get much faster when you bring lots of memory close to the processor. If you look across a number of popular game titles with the Vcache technology, we're seeing an average improvement of 15% at 1080p. Now, just think about that. That's 15%, which is an entire architectural generation's worth of gaming performance just from the 3D Vcache technology. I'm excited we got to give you a preview of our 3D triplet technology today. We've actually made great progress on the overall development of this technology, and we'll be ready to start production on our highest end products with 3D triplets by the end of this year. It's been great fun today, and we've covered a lot of ground here, so let me just wrap up. The first gaming notebooks powered by the new Radeon 6000M series and AMD Advantage are available starting early June. AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution also available starting June 22nd. And the AMD Ryzen 5000 desktop APUs on August 5th. Hopefully you also enjoyed our preview of our 3D triplet technology. You can count on AMD always pushing the envelope in high performance computing. I really want to thank all of you who joined us today on the Keynote live stream and all of us here in the room. We look forward to seeing you again in person soon. Have a great rest of your Computex 2021.